what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're continuing my 2022 year-end top 10s as we are uh, looking at, at my number 8 welterweight in the world right now at 147 pounds and that is the undefeated contender Virgil Ortiz Jr. who, uh, you know, the very exciting fighter that he is. Um, Ortiz drops two spots from number 6. That's pretty much due to inactivity and other guys just doing a little bit more, moving ahead of him in 2022. Um, not, not, not a big deal though. He's 24 years old. Overall, he's 19 and 0 with 19 knockouts. This guy has stopped every opponent he's been in the ring with. He is very good, and he is the WBA and WBO's number one ranked contender. But in March, on the zone. He has the biggest fight of his career coming up and biggest opportunity when he takes on the undefeated WBA regular champion, um, uh, Imantis Stanionis. This is a big fight for Virgil Ortiz. Um, the biggest of his career by far, in my opinion. And, uh, and Stanionis, too. It's a good matchup between these two guys. Stanionis, very solid welterweight, coming off of the win over Butaya um, to, to win the belt. And now this mandatory fight is going down. And the thing is, it's not just the fight itself. The reason why it's big is the winner is in line to basically fight uh, the WBA super champ and unified champ, Errol Spence Jr. So, you know, to the winner goes the spoils. I mean, it's gonna be, uh, the winner really is gonna have a huge opportunity. And to be honest, I think Ortiz is gonna beat Stanionis. I think Stanionis is gonna put up a good fight that's gonna be a competitive bout for, for a while. And um, I think once they get to the second half, Ortiz is just gonna keep his busy work rate up. And I think he'll either stop Stanionis or he might go the distance for his first time. But I think he'll get a, a, a convincing decision or a, a deserving decision and, uh, and become the WBA regular champ. And even though, like I said, Stanley Onis is good and he's a very live underdog. This is the best guy that Ortiz has fought to this point. Um, but once the smoke settles, you know, we're going to have, or the dust settles, I should say, um, we're going to have a new WBA regular champ. I think it's going to be Ortiz. And then after that, really, the sky's the limit. Because, you know, the win if Spence and Crawford does happen, one of the belts that they are going to hold on to after they fight that they're not going to have to vacate is the welterweight title. And if they, I mean, it's a WBA title. And if they decide to stay to stay at 147 and not move up and wait, or if the fight doesn't even happen and Spence stays WBA champion, he has three belts. He'll probably give up his IBF title, and then he'll have he'll still have the WBC and WBA. I think if Spence doesn't fight um, Crawford in the first half of the year, that he's probably going to fight Keith Thurman next. I think he beats Keith Thurman. And then he'll hold on to the WBC and he'll have to fight either Jerron Boutsenis or Virgil Ortiz. And I truly believe that he'll go after Virgil Ortiz, you know, because it's a mandatory fight and then the PBC and Showtime, you know, will likely um, do a purse bid and win the rights to that fight. Now, if for some reason it looks like De La Hoya and Golden Boy will put up more to get the fight, then, you know, Spence just might say, might move up and wait, or he might say, fuck it, but I do think there's about a 50-50 chance that if Spence and Crawford doesn't happen, that Spence might fight the winner of Ortiz and Stanionis next. But, you know, I think because Ortiz packs a name, Spence might be into fighting him. You know, he really he really might say, hey, you know, I'll fight him. You know, he's, he's got a good name. I'll fight him. Let's get this going. So, I'm going to wait and see what happens. But I really think that if Virgil Ortiz pulls off the win over Stanley Yonis, he's got a very, very promising year and of opportunities to happen right after that. And at the very least, say Spence gives up the belt, then he's the full WBA champion. And he can start dictating terms at 147, possibly face uh, Alexis uh, Rocha in the second half of the year because he's a golden boy while he waits around for one of the other big names, our, uh, our champions, to unify in 2024. So, again, Virgil Ortiz definitely has uh, things, 
you know, uh, looking good. If he can pull out that win over Stan Jonas, he definitely has uh, big things ahead of him. So, again, that fight takes place in March on the zone. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my number um, eight welterweight in the world right now at 147 pounds. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.